Hello, uh, I am here to demo uh, a program called Concrete Mixer, which is a uh, application, uh, a s ambient jukebox sound system, uh, intended to run on a Raspberry Pi. Um, now, none of that may mean much to you, so I'll uh, explain how it all works. So, uh, a Raspberry Pi is a um, tiny, tiny computer. It's a miniature computer. Uh, on its own, naked in the raw, it looks like this, um, which might look a bit intimidating, but in actual fact, this is one here. It's uh, very small, fits in your hand. It can be powered by a uh, micro USB power source, which is the same thing that you would probably use to charge your phone, unless you've got an iPhone. Um, and uh, yeah, they're very handy and uh, very small and discreet and portable. So um, what is an ambient jukebox system? Well, the, uh, the application uh, Concrete Mixer, what it does is it takes audio files um, that you provide. I've, I've put some of my own up on the web, but um, you probably don't want to use those. Uh, and um, you give it your files and it will uh, load the files and play them. It's a bit like a um, uh, like an MP3 player on a computer or, or an iPod, but instead of playing each file sequentially, one by one, it will mix uh, one or more files, well, it has to be one or more, uh, two or more files together, um, and it uh, also puts an effects chain on the audio so that uh, everything is sort of blended together, and it does a few other tricks like um, it will occasionally play play files backwards, uh, it will cut up things up in strange ways, it will repeat segments uh, momentarily, and uh, it generally just creates a whole sort of sound world, as it were, out of raw sounds. Uh, now what could these sounds be? Now um, I have built it to play sounds I've recorded while travelling, just on a very basic, uh, almost a dictaphone uh, device. Um, but in theory, any sound, even musical sounds, although I think it would probably sound a bit jumbled up. Um, but to give you a demonstration of, of how it all works, uh, I'll just go through the process of installing the application and, uh, and also copying files to it and then getting it up and running. So the first thing we'll do is demonstrate how to actually uh, copy files to uh, Pi cop and install Concrete Mixer itself. Um, so, the Pi takes a uh, micro SD card, and uh, it's similar to what you might have in your phone, and uh, you can put that into a uh, adapter, a SD card adapter, and if you happen to have uh, a slot on your laptop or a separate um, card reader, you can install that. And uh, this is, these are the files here. So um, I won't tell you how to install uh, the operating system on the, on the micro SD card for the Pi. There's plenty of documentation about that on the web. Um, what you can do is just go to uh, Home Pi. That's where you install it. Um, I'm already running Concrete Mixer on this Pi, but uh, let's go through the motions of actually installing it. So up here we have, uh, so this is the GitHub web page for the project and you can just click on uh, download zip and you can save the file to the Pi directory and I've already got it there so we won't bother doing that. Um, and indeed we won't bother um, unzipping the file either because we already have the software available. But um, we, what we do need to do is uh, copy some audio files there. So uh, here are a couple that I have already set up. Um, normally you'd have many files, as many as possible basically. Um, 
The strength of Concrete Mixer is that it has an awful lot of randomly chosen parameters and the number of files is another uh, effectively random parameter. So uh, every performance of the software uh, will last as long as you have files, so the longer the better and the more random and it will be and the more uh, collisions with sounds you'll get. Uh, without wanting to be happy about it, um, you'll find if you have the right sort of files that when the, when they get played together, when different combinations get played together I should say, um, you will hear interesting uh, collisions and uh, that is what makes the app worth running. Anyway, we have just two files here. Uh, one is of a recording of my son playing with a little, uh, little musical toy and it sounds like this. And the other to uh, recording um, is of seagulls, which I don't know where, when or where I made that, but anyway, it's got um, it's got a sort of good good sound on. So uh, we'll do that. So copy those. Um, I should say I'm working in Linux here, but um, there's no reason, uh, it's the same principle for Mac or Windows, you can install the files exactly the same way. Um, so going back to the Pi, uh, we create a new directory, just call that demo audio. We can copy those files in there, um, and you'll need to edit one of the conf files. In this case, it's concrete.conf, and just set the. Uh, oops, I've disappeared. Hang on. Oh, there I am. Um, you just need to change the directory for uh, the file path. So in this case, it will be just uh, demo audio. setting as well. Right, so that's done and uh, so we've saved that. We have got our files. So now what we need to do is to uh, take out the SD card and uh, put it back into the Pi. and uh, reboot it. There we go. And switch the power on. And uh, after about a minute or so, um, the software will start playing. There's some more configuration you have to do to actually make it uh, play from, from boot, but um, that's all documented on the GitHub site, the uh, instructions and installation instructions. So, um, yeah, reasonably straightforward in theory. Yeah, uh, that is actually running, take it from me, and uh, you're about to hear approximately what it will sound like. Okay, so that's um, Concrete Mixer. Uh, I didn't explain what the actual um, 
what the name actually means. And uh, it's basically a pun or wordplay on uh, Music Concrete, which was a uh, pioneering electronic music movement in the 40s where a bunch of Frenchmen, uh, Pierre Schaeffer, Pierre Henri, I think Pierre Boulet was in there. There was a lot of Pierres going on in that, that stage. Um, they mixed uh, sound recordings on shellac uh, and basically DJing or kind of live mixing recordings together uh, and I've just, you know, field recordings, found sounds, trains and whistles and things and um, this was before tape came in so they were basically pioneers of sampling and uh, while their compositions back then were a bit more organised and uh, certainly a lot less random than Concrete Mixer is. Um, that idea of using real world sounds to kind of uh, make soundscapes uh, is sort of in that tradition. So um, I thought I could give it that name. Um, so what would you use Concrete Mixer for? Um, if you're int into experimental sounds and uh, I guess uh, odd sounds, things like that, the unexpected, um, then it would all make sense to you. Um, for others, I guess it's useful, uh, it'd be quite good in art galleries, uh, elevators, hotel lobbies. Um, you can use sort of white noisy sounds and uh, I've done that to help my son sleep at night. Um, it's also good for insomnia if you have some reasonably relaxing noises. Uh, you can definitely fall asleep to that. Certainly when I was developing it, I uh, drift off quite a bit. Um, oh yeah, I should talk about the demo recording. There's a, um, a demo on uh, Bandcamp. Um, I think I put it on SoundCloud as well. So you can listen to those just to get an idea of what it sounds like as a, as a sort of a large span. Um, and yeah, uh, that's, that's pretty much it really. Um, if, if the whole thing appeals to you, go for it and um, let me know uh, what you think and how it's worked out. Um, yeah, otherwise, uh, thanks for watching.